So for the Stoics, it's not that you didn't want to be great. It was that you can't let greatness be defined by what other people do and say about external rewards, recognition, credit. It was about doing the work, about doing it for yourself and for the right reasons. And that's what greatness was. Ambition. Is that at odds with philosophy? It's, it's a timeless question. I mean, clearly the Stoics warn about ambition and a lot of the philosophical schools warn about sort of the sin of ambition, that it's corrupting, that it's selfish, that it's not pure, that there's something wrong with it. And yet, it's hard to argue that the Stoics weren't super ambitious people. I mean, look at what they achieved. Seneca's a famous playwright. Musonius Rufus is known as the Roman Socrates for how articulate and brilliant he is. Cato's a senator. I mean, Marcus Aurelius is the most powerful man in the world. You don't become those things if you are unambitious. So clearly the Stoics wanted to be great. But I think what it was about is what kind of greatness they were cultivating. There's an interesting line in the movie Gladiator, if you remember, right? Uh, Marcus is telling Commodus that he's not going to become emperor. And... Commodus takes this as a huge indictment of him as a person. And he starts to talk about, you know, what's wrong with me? What, why don't you love me? Don't I have virtues? And he starts to talk about the virtue of ambition. It's interesting because Marcus does, in fact, talk about ambition in meditations. He says, ambition is tying your sanity to what other people say and do. But he says, sanity means tying it to your own actions. So for the Stoics, it's not that you didn't want to be great. It was that you can't let greatness be defined by what other people do and say about external rewards, recognition, credit. It was about doing the work, about doing it for yourself and for the right reasons, and that's what greatness was. So the Stoics focused on their own actions. Like you and I, we have to focus on our own actions. I have to write the best book that I'm capable of writing where it lands on the bestseller list isn't what it's about. When I look at my accomplishments, when I look at my ambition, the external stuff is nice to have, but it's not why I do it. Because I've done stuff where I've gotten it, and I've done other things where I didn't get it. Only what you do, Marcus would say, focus on that. The rest takes care of itself. Good character, that's what's important. You have to stop chasing the external things, and you have to focus on the internal things, to focus on character. I mean, of, of course I'm ambitious, right? I, I, I always have been, I've always wanted to do stuff. These are like some of my bestseller stuff, right? And you can see, it's like clearly, I want my stuff to be in print, I wanna sell lots of copies. This is the bestseller stuff for The Daily Stoic. This is the number one plaque for Stillness is the Key, debuts at number one. I mean, look, I, it's not wrong to want to be good at what you do. Of course not, right? You should want to be good at what you do. But I didn't write the book for this plaque. It would be a crappy reason to spend years of your life writing a book to hope that you'll be recognized on the bestseller list. And, and that's, that's actually what's funny about it. And look, the reason you can't care about these things is when Ego is the Enemy came out, this is the plaque, it should have debuted at number one but it didn't, and we don't know why it didn't. That's not how I define success of that book. That would be such an empty, sad thing to define the success by. For me, greatness was that I knew it was the best book that I'd written to that point. It was the best work that I'd done. That's what I control. That's where my ambition is. I wanted it to have impact. I wanted it to matter to people. I wanted it to do its job. That's where my ambition is, not am I competing with my other friends. I don't care about the other books on the list. I'm happy for their success as much as mine. For me, the ambition is about doing the work, doing the work well. That's why I do what I do. My goal is to be the best writer possible, not the richest writer possible, not the most famous writer possible, not to spend the most weeks on the best list. This is what the Stokes would call a preferred indifference. It's extra, but it's not why I do it. I remember I was really ambitious early in my 20s and when I was first starting in Hollywood, someone gave me a copy of this book, a mentor of mine. It's this book, What Makes Sammy Run? And to me, it's like one of the great novels of all time. It's a novel about ambition. And there's this line, it says, what a tremendous burning light ambition can be and there's something behind it. And what a puny flickering sparkler there is when there isn't. And Sammy was the kind of person whose ambition was all about himself, that sort of toxic ambition. He wanted to be the richest, the most famous, the most powerful, the most feared. But that's not the kind of ambition that the Stoics want. That's the kind of ambition that Commodus was after. The world needs good ambition. It needs ambition tied to excellence. It needs ambition tied to goodness, towards purpose, towards impact, towards the internal, which can manifest itself later in external things, but that can't be what's behind it. That's a shallow, 
sad, pathetic ambition, and that's ultimately what that novel's about. The world needs you to, to want to be great, but not great by some arbitrary, random standard. It needs you to want to be great in the things that truly matter. You can be ambitious, the Stoics want you to be ambitious, but it's about what you're ambitious for and what you're willing to do to realize that ambition that matters. For the Stoics, wisdom was an ongoing process. It was a journey. Zeno said that well-being is realized by small steps, but it's no small thing. So how do we do that? Well, I suggest the Daily Stoic email. You can sign up at dailystoic.com slash email. One email every single day, totally free. The best wisdom and insights from the Stoics, from Zeno to Marcus Aurelius, Epictetus, and Seneca. Sign up, start your journey. Let me know what you think.